I'm recording late again, don't blame me. I fell asleep while I was planning to record in the morning. And then I, had, I was busy all day, so I'm recording to, again at night. This time an hour earlier than I did yesterday, so... Uh, it's already past 10, actually, but... It's 10.15. 10, 10, 16, technically. But still, I'll just jump into this video. <laughs> video. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just getting over the cold. The alarm is loud. As, also, if you don't know why I'm tired, it's because I had um the COVID-19 shot uh, yesterday. And I am dealing with side effects, and I just realized there's a bump. There's a bump where I got shot. Anyway. I think that's just because I got shot there twice. <coughs> Reaching over sleepily, I opened the door and shut it up. The phone shut up. So, after I'm done, I'm going to head back to the bedroom, change the uniform, and I hear noise from downstairs. Macy, is that you? Yeah, Mom. I'm feeling better. Put my hand over my stomach. A lot better than before. <laughs> Good, I made you some porridge for breakfast today. Think you can eat it? I think so, yeah. Well, come on down. Come on down, sweetie. I'm coming. I head down some pajamas. <laughs> Macy's parents are sitting in the coffee at the table drinking what I assume is coffee and eating their breakfast. <laughs> the third plate is at a table and set up with a bowl of orange and a glass that looks like orange juice. Good morning, Meiji. Morning there. Feeling better today. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm feeling much better. Thanks, Dad. You want to stay home again today? Just a word and I'll... Just say the word and I'll let the school know. <laughs> right, come on, dear. Cut the umbilical cord a little bit. He's my baby. He's then looking... Exchange a small knowing look before he goes back to paper. Meiji's mom did not. I mean... In the breakfast front of me. Here, try and eat it. Alright. I said to him. You slept alright, right? <laughs> Didn't stay up all night reading manga or watching watch anime again, right? I feel my phone again. Mom! No fever, at least. I roll and roll my eyes, but I'll smile a little. Yeah, I slept well. No, I didn't stay up late. <laughs> well, if you go to your new club today, please take it easy. New club. So you managed to, manage to get me to join your literature club. Really? <laughs> I'm proud of you, Meiji. Extracurricular activities are good for you. Plus, colleges like to see that sort of thing. I'll be honest, then. I have not thought too hard about colleges. But I'm going to change that after festival. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you're taking that seriously. Me too. What club is it? It's a literature club. Well, now isn't that something? And we'll solve. He smiles almost wist wistfully. I know that look, dear. You're reminiscing. Yeah, I am. What about? You You and I go <coughs> being part of the literature club. But didn't so Soccer Academy Literature Club shut down during Ico's last year? <coughs> so you're helping restart with one of our friends. Series involved. Well, one more reason to join the club then. At least you'll have a friend there. That's definitely a plus. Speaking of plus, Doki Doki Literature Club Plus comes out in what a time does that video comes out five days? Because literally this coming out on the twenty fifth. By the way, if you guys don't know, Saturday Sundays no videos. You don't have to wait till Monday for another video. So the twenty eighth after this video. Anyway, me standing toward. By the way, Miji, I heard you had some girls over yesterday. I go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tatsu. That's so sweet. I told you what happened. I'm just teasing, heart, dear. Yep, Sayori's pretty sneaky. She is that bad. <laughs> he finishes his coffee and Meiji's mom does. <coughs> does so a few seconds later. Why well, we should get going? You too, Meiji. I'll head out soon. Mom, Meiji's Meiji, mom finished cleaning her and Tatsu's, Tatsu's dishes, putting them in the drain. Dish drainer in the sink. <laughs> See you later, sweetie. Love you. Love you too, mom. The two of them grab suitcases and head out. I quickly finish breakfast, clean my desk, and leave them dry in the rack wall. Clean my dishes, damn it. <coughs> no fucking no. I head upstairs and grab the uniform and never run out of a poem. I pull a laptop and look for an old poem. <coughs> I find a good one in trash can and transcribe it in a scrap piece of paper. Here we go. I think it's just 644. 646, I decided it's plenty of time for a shower. After I start showering, so she makes me wake up. I ain't sleeping yet. I'm finally awake. Uh, I bet that. It's almost seven. Your parents already left. <laughs> I slept in that long? Why don't you try to wake me? How could I do that? Should I want myself to wake up? I'm not exactly ready to be taken away. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. That's not. Oh no. Damn it. What is it? We've got to write a poem. Maybe she's practically screaming. I don't shout. I rolled early this morning. We did? You were still asleep. I must have been. What was the poem? I'll show you later. It's an old one of mine. Yeah, okay. 
Well, I don't have much time to write anything, so I did say I wanted to then see one of my older poems. I'll write a new. We'll write a new one tonight. We? Yeah, we. I didn't tell them about me yet. You know, I meant I meant to on the first day. <coughs> oh yeah, it slipped my mind too. When do we do it? And how? Leave it to me, alright? Because <laughs> I have the confidence I don't feel so bad. As a shower, my mind wanders. What do I do now? Like, why? No, I really shouldn't. Will they believe me? I'm pretty sure Monica would, but what about the others? You okay there? You're spacing out on me. Ah, oh, damn, sorry. <laughs> you can rinse off. Seriously, you're right. And don't lie, I can read your inner thoughts. Or, but I can at least feel tension. Like, honestly, I'm tense as hell. I don't know if I should trust Monica or not. I know much to broach the subject of you and me without hurting Siri. I hate not knowing what to do. You sounded so confident when you were there. I don't want you to worry. Dude, I've been in control in my own body for the past three days. All I do is worry and think. <coughs> right? I'm sorry, Mason. I just know what I know. And with the added stress of being sick and unintentionally hijacking your body, it's a lot of pressure, you know? If we're going to be stuck together. You gotta be more honest. You need to be more honest with me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but I play to you too. I'll be more honest in the future. You better. <coughs> I get dressed and making sure my phone is in my pocket. I grab the school bag and walk out. I head outside. Cold. Is October weather always this nice? It's not unheard of. <coughs> I had turned to Siri's house and almost walked in the door that opens. Maisie, what are you doing? I was gonna wake you up to see if you're still asleep. It looks like you. Looks like you got up earlier. All right. Sorry, I'm nice to you to it. Oh, oh. it's all. <coughs> and that's okay. We still have time, though. So I'll help you clean up. I put on my bag and help you get some hair. Jeez, your hair is a mess. <laughs> you know, it's funny. What's funny? <coughs> I can choose any kind of hair. It's weird to have a friend who does these kind of things for you. That's earlier than expected. And again, this scenario did happen in the game. Oh, make her stop! This is embarrassing! I don't think it's weird at all. Loki and Eiji, I played the vote. Eiji and Siri. Believe it or not, I care about you. <coughs> <coughs> I only have moderate so stacks with her hair. I know some toothpaste seemed on the collar. So they wiped it off while presenting the same collar. I stand back and stroke my chin. Look in here with faux appraisal. That's good. Hey, sir, I've always wondered. Why do you leave your blazer on button? I'm not telling you. But not for her. Trust me on this other brother. It's better we don't. <coughs> well, I guess I've gotten so used to seeing you in that blazer. That would be weird if it button up. But it doesn't look so small on you. I tug on sleeves. Can you get a bigger size so it covers your arms? It's getting cold, you know. But I have my coat. I guess so. But it'd be a lot prettier. With a properly fit blazer. I feel Meiji gain super invest. You think I would? I never I would never see them. I think it <laughs> I do think that. So if I keep it on the button, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? I, I never mentioned a boyfriend, did I? Uh, well maybe I applied it a bit. <laughs> maybe I missed you. Maybe so. All the key that was on. Well, I try to keep an eye on her. Can you answer your question though? I think if a guy is telling you how not to dress, is telling you to not dress how you like, then it's not worth your time. I know how to go for myself, but if I did, and she tried to change the way I dress to suit her taste, I dump her so hard. It's like you'd be scolded by some teachers. <coughs> and I don't think leaving the blazer loose is against any school dress codes. You think so? I do. I, you know, I know it worked to me, and we started dating. I wouldn't say anything negative about your blazer. And if you didn't, not only would you be harder to find, and it, but it mean that's such a scary thing for you to do. Mimi, sir, your little ideal, ideal state crass. I don't fucking know how I was little. <coughs> I don't know big words. Makes you as cute as you are. Uh, what, you didn't know what that means? Now it's being a mean one. Sorry. It's all right. We dolled enough. <laughs> we should get going, or we're gonna be late. I walk. Serious. Again. Are you sure feeling okay to go to school today? You still don't look well. 
Or maybe Mura, Muramoto-san's cupcake cured me. I joked a bit more being serious. I'll be honest. I don't feel quite back to 100%, but I feel good enough to come back, to come to school. Just don't expect me to do much in the club today. I don't think anyone will force you. More students join us on the As we approach the school, I see the students heading in along with Kazooie. That's her? Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. <laughs> wow. She's not a Yaru anymore. She locks eyes with me and approaches. I, I step between her and Siri. Go inside. Don't do anything stupid. I promise you I won't. I promise that you I wouldn't. Remember, now go. Siri again is walking to school. <laughs> wait, I need to talk to both of you. Why do you say you can wait till later? I I'm afraid you can't. Wait, right, what is it? I'm sorry to both of you. That was loud. Get a few stairs. I thought you said you weren't going to say anything to her about me. Sarah leans in and whispers in my ear. I didn't. Uh, after Monday, I went home and thought long and hard about what I've done. I even talked to my parents about it. <laughs> they told me the same thing you did. I don't expect you to forgive me. But I wanted you to know that I won't be acting like that from now on. Well? That was definitely not what I was expecting. <sighs> words are just words. Please prove your words with your actions. Yeah, my word. I'll make up to you, to the two of you and everyone else. She has to say quickly. Well, that was unexpected. <coughs> I look over here and see she's trembling. Sayori? Uh, uh, sorry, I guess I wasn't prepared for that encounter today. Come on, I'll walk you to the classroom. <laughs> oh, I was confused. I take her inside, staying close, just in case she collapses. Meiji leads me to your classroom which is right next to Meiji's. <laughs> Thanks, Meiji. I guess we really are better taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. I take care of you because I care about you. I'll see you in the club room later. I can't wait to do your poem. Me too. Later, Meiji. She sounds like a scene in the back of the next window. She got the protagonist window seat like us? What do you mean? <laughs> you know how school animated male protagonist has the back corner window seat like we do? Oh, I didn't think of that. Makes me wonder if the others had the same seat in their classroom. I won't be surprised. Went into the classroom as soon as approaching me. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. I, this one character looks a bit familiar. Um, <laughs> I know what I'm referring to. I'm not going to say anything. I think this is just a subtle reference. I think this is just a subtle reference. Different hair color, different eye, oh, uh, different color of green eyes. But well, you know what I mean. Wait, what's your color? What's your eye color green? Or is it blue? Anyway, Jesus, son, are you feeling better today? Who's that? <coughs> That's the class rep. Fujiwara Mori. Gotcha. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I am. It was just some food poisoning. I'm not feeling quite back to normal, but at least in the class, no problem. Oh, good. You want the notes from yesterday? I made copies for you and. Tani-san. Tani-san wasn't here, earlier. Alright, look over, looking over, I see Kazooie sitting in her head in the desk, arms covering her face. No, she wasn't. After your brutal takedown, she probably stayed home out of embarrassment. Yeah, I did go overboard tonight. I, I'm really sorry about that. I guess I just snapped. I don't blame you. No one here was willing to stand up for you. You and me, I'm ashamed, I'm afraid to, I'm ashamed to say. Just one of the people in the class was nice to me. And I appreciate it. And I'm forgetting to show kill. I've been, I've been so distant. <laughs> With the way I've been acting now, I'm not surprised. I don't exactly elude a friendly attitude to my classmates, do I? If I'm honest now, that's why I was shocked but not really surprised when you snapped on Monday. Well, I promise I'll behave better. And honestly, I'm glad you're in this class with me. Oh? Well, I wonder if you people here treat me kindly. Even if I didn't deserve it. And I don't. I've been so hard on yourself. It's my job as class rep. I guess I'm a really naturally helpful person. Well, I haven't said it, but I'm grateful, really. And yes, I would like to know the notes if you're okay with it. Of course. Right, she turns her desk three ahead of Meiji's and comes back with a stack of stack of couple of copy papers. Here you are. Thank you. Anytime. She turns her desk and newly surrounded by a small group of friends. A small group of girls are using her friends. I look at her moist notes. After a while, Meiji speaks up and judges by tone, he feels something down. Maybe I should let you take permanent control. You seem to have a better knack in my life than I do. What? Why? <coughs> what the hell? 
What do you do that? Want that? Because you're the ones making friends left and right. Oh. I still have little idea how this affects Meiji. He must be super stressed. <coughs> I'm too unproductive to think about it, though. Damn. I feel awful now. They said I'm going to move the exit. <coughs> Meiji, I... No, don't you dare feel sorry for me. I've been working so hard on my behalf, and I don't deserve it. I don't deserve this life. I should just... I spent myself once again. Trying to stab him out. Trying to stab him out of him. Unfortunately, no one sees. Ow. Stop doing that. <laughs> Crap, we're going to take a deep breath. Sorry. Is that what I meant? Just calm down, dude. It's fine. How? How? Meiji? No, you don't get it. I keep forgetting he's a teen. Get what, Meiji? It's all right, really. No, it isn't. We're going out in circles. I'll try a different approach. You don't think I want you to get better? I'm trying to lead by example here. Believe it or not, I'm a lot like you. You are? Yeah, I'm somewhat of a loner. That's okay, you're trying, right? Yeah. I am. Then that's what counts. No one can ask anything else of you. Yeah. You're right. I'm... I'm sorry. I guess I shouldn't have been feeling all like myself or anything. <coughs> I can't blame you, Aussie. It's not like I've ever tried to give you control back yet. But today, we're going to tell everyone how to share poems. Alright, I'll be back in class in moments later. Lunchtime again. I put the books away and stand and stretch. I need a walk. What do you think the clever is? <coughs> no idea! Let's just look around. Why not Sayori? Because she wanted to show us around. This might be the one of the few times we can get Monica alone. Damn. I forgot about the antagonist. She's not the antagonist! Well, we do need to be careful around her. I don't know how what she knows, or she realizes how the game ends. Alright. <laughs> Let's ask the teacher. I'm finished teaching directs me down another part of the building. Direction gives me just leads to the set of stairs to the third floor. I think there were no number of students is increasing. Where all the students go? <clears throat> I think this part of the school is for the more gifted middle schoolers. Ah, uh, so they're off on break or something? Probably. Yeah. That makes sense. <coughs> Reach your room. Above the door is labeled 3D. Weird. Wasn't that in their classroom's name on the floor below? I do not gently open the door. I need to take a screenshot of it. That's not the thumbnail. It might be. I'm not deciding yet. This this is just for me and for general friend. What the hell? No one's in this room. But it is an active club room. Wouldn't there be students here for lunch? Orbs are all around already. Does anyone use this room? I take a good look in the dark room. The windows over the over at the roof overlooks the roof. That was a great view of the city. And is that the ocean? Didn't realize it was Castle Town. I look at the desk and see only a handful of school bags being hung in the desk in their front. None of people use this classroom with any, huh? Let me show turn on the lights. <laughs> My 9th grade classrooms sure look like the same as the 12th grade classrooms. Yeah. School is a junior and high school mix. Makes sense. Any idea what no one is here? Actually, I have no idea. Probably just a small class. Yeah, probably. <coughs> well, if the Teachers are complaining about Nazi's manga. It had to be used, right? Now we're headed over to class. Yep, there's a manga on the top shelf and your C set. Your ears, right? This is similar to ours. Well, I'm not gonna mess with it. <coughs> I should really move the manga to a lower shelf where I see room. I head over to teacher's desk. Computer is off. I don't see anything he here, so there's no reason to stay. Besides, if this is being used for a classroom, I should let students use it. I turn off the I switch off the lights. I head back to the hallway and shut out of the room. Look in the window, I see in the back of the school's courtyard. I look down and spot someone sitting on the, beach, on the bench reading a book. She has long black hair. Is that Yuri? Looks like it. You should finish her lunch early? Uh oh, she's in trouble. <laughs> I look slightly at the left and see a group of teens pointing and learn lessons. Kidding. Yuri, too. Made a mystery protective skill activated. I rush down the courtyard. Screw no running in the halls. Yuri needs help. Meiji tries and tries to stop me this time. Only gives directions to the back of the school entrance. I want her to see the group shining Yuri. She looks terrified. All her, all around her are a group of students. You... Bruh. <laughs> Yuri might be my least favorite Doki. But, uh... What the fuck?
I'm not saying that. I think that might be a thumbnail for now. I'm not sure. You're signing out. Oh. Oh. Uh. I think I need to see a therapist after this. I resist the problem with that on Earth. I mean, problems after all. Seriously, what are those odd. Um. Let's just. How are you getting away with this? And what's up this book? You're soon guys fury. I'll please give it back. What a creepy looking book. I figured she read this garbage. <coughs> Before anyone could respond, they calmly walk up and snatch it both from the person who sold it. I smile politely. No smart answering, no smart answering. Hello there. And here's another loser. May she? Hey, can you get you? Monica wanna to talk to you. Oh, what about? She didn't say, come on, we're in the club room. I ho I hold my hand out and help her out. Thanks. That's a big idea of budding in your nerve. When the girls grab him, she didn't pull him back. We said he could up our fun. Ah, shit, that's... Kawas... Kawahashi... Kawahashi... She's the worst... She's worse than Tani-san was. I turn to her. Ah, my most sincere apologies. But this is really important, can't we? You don't get interrupt us. I leave him alone, over you. So what is she doing here? Your girl's as good as mine. Because she's not someone you should be messing with. Since when you started funding this little life? Since none of, none of your business. Like I listen to you. And listen to me. Monica now? I've never seen this angry before. Yuri is in my club, Kawahashi. You don't get to lay a hand on her without me doing something about it. Oh shit, I think she, I don't think she can get this angry. Yeah. Remind me never piss her off. Yuri's hiding behind me now. Looks like the three girls are about to fight. Well, time to do something I've never experienced him. Diffusing a tense situation. Okay, one. Enough of this. There's nothing else quite this any further. Just go our separate days. Ways so for the day and go our heads. Not a chance in hell. Looks like turn being more channel the more mature one here. I hit put my hand on Monica and Kalisha's shoulders. Ladies, let's just go, right? Lunch is almost over. Yeah, run bitches. Comfort the cutting I fucking hate them. I hate them. <laughs> I get these models are like supposed to be like put more sympathy like on self harm, but fucking hell, I hate when everyone actually uses as a freak. Like fucking hell. When we get back in, your collapses. Uh, uh, I deep breaths, hearing deep breaths. Honestly, I can't believe we should call those bitches my friends. I really, I'm sorry. I understand you don't forgive me for what I said to all you those times. Well, oh, she um, she really has changed. I agreed, and more for better. Could become friends with her one Sunday. Maybe. <laughs> Ray starts to cry. I hand her Maisie's tangy trip. I. Thank you, Maisie. Monica. Tani san. You're one, of my plush, my, you're one of my precious club members. There's nothing I wouldn't do if I might kept keeping you safe. <laughs> that includes you too, Maisie. You joined Anas. As, Asano's. Asano-san's club. Yes, recently, yeah. Eh. I don't think I'm there like you like literature. I mean, I'm sorry for us to have it. It's fine, you're still learning. Thanks for stepping in. Not sure I'd have gone away with that without getting pretty hurt. Stay out of trouble. I let the teacher know you're gonna be late. Runs out the hall. What was that? <coughs> A classmate who I finally stood up to recently. Turning your Hey, can you stand? Do you need to rest in your office a bit? Uh, no. I'll be fine. Uh, why did you get involved? You could have gotten hurt. For the same reason Monica, reason Monica did. I might not know you much, but you're a fellow club member. I won't let anyone hurt, hurt you in any way to the best of my abilities. Say play see, Monica. Damn. It's one damn beautiful smile. <laughs> you're damn right, idiot. I'm a fucking simp. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> I saw him one of my. F I got an occasion there. <coughs> oh, fuck me. Anyway. <coughs> I'm dying. Anyway, I got an. 
<laughs> and then I died the next morning. Anyway, I got a notification from my friend from Twitch that one of my friends is live. <coughs> and it's um title caught me off guard. I'm not gonna say what it is because uh, like I, I'm it's literally gonna this gonna be recorded up this is gonna be uploaded late. The night before this video comes out, then the stream was literally the night before. <coughs> anyway, let's get you back to your classrooms before lunch ends. What about you? And what about you? If I'm late, no one will bat on I come on. Do you go take Kiri back to the classroom? <coughs> She's a little shaky, but holds up well. When it's your classroom, Yuri turns and bows us a formal manner. Thank you, too. Of course, Yuri. See you in the club. <coughs> After we leave, I turn to Monica. Monica, I can walk you back to your classroom too. I hope she's, I hope she's far enough away we can talk a bit. You're just as sweet as I thought you'd be. Yep, she's self aware! Huh? Guess so. How much does she know? My class is going so close by. Please be more careful next time. I will. Thank you. She gets her class. Her class. I should take a, <coughs> I should take a picture when. I should take a thumbnail picture when. Those, those, those three were five. Fuck, I just realized it. I'm just, I'll take it. Not a shaking your car will be funny. <laughs> funny. I mean, it'll be fine. Because literally, it's gonna relate to it anyway. I'm back to Mage's class. Just a few seconds away from the bell ring. I'm over my desk and see something unusual. Because always sitting in, sitting in the seat right behind me now. I wonder how she pulled that off. I right, sit down and begin. In the school books, help. <coughs> Just I feel someone poking my back, I turn around. How's your club room doing? Better. Good. Let's so I get her here for entire school day. I don't know, so I've been recording for 30 minutes and mostly just been this. During that class, during that class, class on Monday, I looked over the syllabus and noticed that in the middle of only two week I there's an art class. <coughs> Maybe told me that they would switch classrooms in for one, for this one class. Okay, today. Okay, class. Today's their class can be a bit different what it is. We're going to be joining class 3F since Yam Yamada Sensei is out sick today. Huh? Meiji is brought out to whatever day during his seven I can feel and pay attention. That's a 3 8 R teacher, right? Yeah? Sensei, won't we take up too much st space if we go to your classroom? That has been taken care of. You're actually going to use the art room in the old building today. Old building. <laughs> this building is a new one. Our Curry Academy has an older building. So our clubs use those. All the building, huh? Pretty interesting. I wonder if I have ghosts over there. I don't know why Monica isn't able to get space in that building for the club. <laughs> Hi everyone, grab your desk and head to the old building. Then we'll meeting room 2E. Then students, myself included, grab our bags and head out. <coughs> <coughs> I follow the other students to the hall and head down to another stairs. Heading out to the cool so autumn afternoon. Soon we approach an old style Japanese school building. <coughs> I wonder how cold it is. How old it really is. She does son? Mori comes up to me. Oh yeah, how how who you are, son. I heard what happened earlier at lunch. Are you doing okay? Ah yes, I'm okay. What happened exactly? I told her my side of the story. I see. <coughs> is your friend doing alright? A bit shaken up like I can't believe she's getting to the boy. I've seen her around and talked to her a few times. She's a real sweetheart. She didn't share that kind of treatment. Oh yeah. Yuri. Oh definitely. I doubt whether there's a hateful bone in her body. At least in our opinion. The, head, the class heads upstairs. You really changed in the past week. First you stand up to Tani, and now Kawaha Kawahashi? You're glad to see them being knocked down in their high horses. Although, I really doubt Kawahashi's gonna do any reflecting like Tani. I look more like uh, Kazooie. I just seen. She's walking home alone. I don't think she wants to talk to anyone right now. Yeah. Probably right. <coughs> we all file to the art room. I hear someone call my name. In many cans, good sir. Koto, Koto no Hara. Koto no ha. Koto no ha. Yeah, I got that right. Walks up to me. I'm glad to see you were unarmed from your encounter earlier. That Kawas, Kawahashi is quite a bitch. Man, news travels fast. That's an entertainment. I'll be right back. I need to go pee. I have returned for my pee. <coughs> Of course, in Charles Trash here, it's high school. Alright. Duh. 
Kotonoha Kotonoha Koton Kotonoha Kotonoha, you know Chizuko Sunny? Oh, Mori? Oh, Mori, I didn't know you were in the here. <coughs> huh. They must be good friends for using each other for their names. Yes, um. <coughs> yes, I am. How do you know him? I've seen him in a class recently. He passed on the street a couple times this week. Does this ever mean that my look in your eyes seems to suggest I play along? <coughs> well, we didn't talk that much, I'll admit. But we did find out we went to the same school. Indeed. Well, that's quite a coincidence. Quite the coincidence, indeed. By the way, Macy, how's your friend doing? I heard Kaw Kawahashi roughed her up a bit. Not too much, unfortunately. Oh, they were getting there in time. See you Monica. <coughs> Asano. Asano. Why is she there? She's the president of the club here in 9 10. We joined a club. When did this happen? I just. I joined recently. Sayori convinced me to join. Ah, uh, good old Sayo. She, she would sell. She could sell sand at the beach. So you just laugh at this. I'm getting like these two girls. They're unique and friendly. <coughs> None of you saw what I did. Fuck you all. Anyway. Alright, class, find a canvas. We're going to be practicing perspectives again. <coughs> I find again. This morning, Ko Koto no Ha, I take the two that are both next to me. The teacher plays the box in the center of the room. Let's begin with that. For those three, eh? I don't mind if you talk to each other as long as you do it quietly. Begin. Begin walk drawing. I look to her. She says, no Ha relieves over a bit. What club are you a member of? Literature club. Oh, I didn't know we had one. <coughs> Sounds quite intriguing. It's relatively new. How many members do you have? Including me, five. This week we're writing and seeing new poems. Do you clipped anything professional next week? You know, I'm not sure. Why didn't say anything? Why heard if I if what I heard from the Samatana is true, we should probably plan something great. <coughs> I have no doubt. Well, this might be a good opportunity. I don't know much about Monica other than what the game said about her. I want the rumor well, what the rumor mean mill says about her. If there's any rumors that can spread fast on the internet, it's at high school. Japanese or American doesn't matter. High schoolers are gonna gas it. Hell yeah. I haven't heard much about Monica. What do you guys know about her? <coughs> I just don't remember her talking too much about herself last year. I bring that to the two girls. Over my heard, she's always been a top ten academically. I believe that. I sure I actually hear her father's pretty wealthy. <coughs> I'm dying. Nothing like my family, but still pretty well off. A lot of our guys in our school talk about her too. Mostly disgusting tells how they find her sexy and what they do. Ah! Ah! <laughs> They're fucking cringe red pill redditors. That's what the fuck they are. <coughs> yes, I just said cringe red pill redditors. That's what the fuck they are, man. Oh, never mind. They're four channels. I use red to fuck them. I shake my hand in disgust, saying. Yeah, I bet. I heard a couple things too. She and I shared the same class last year. Nothing that I feel comfortable repeating here. I sure as I remember the things said about Monica. They're most likely, they're, they're most likely, mostly about her thighs. I mean, I mean, me. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Wait, really? Yeah, the free scene want to have Monica. I don't think I, I don't think I want to know. I kind of understand where he's going from, but I don't want to know. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm not gonna tell you. This, despite my swearing, this is still somewhat a family channel. That's a joke. I am very. I'm. Very <coughs> the fuck is having a family channel? <coughs> I'm not here to make money. I'm here to be funny. That's my new slogan now. Fuck y'all. You steal it, you owe me a million bucks. <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna fuck. No, yeah. Do not. Do not. <coughs> <coughs> do not ask what that means. The whole what they want to do. Don't ask what it means. I. Uh, you can learn in uh, high school when that child was around your way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Probably a good call. <coughs> I was wanting me a son of son. I have a feeling there's a lot more than a Miss Tiani. She got that right. I just can know Monica more than much to myself. Well, how so? I'm not sure how to describe it, but I feel like she's too perfect. 
Not that he seems a bad person, per se. When I heard from her, she was pretty genuine. I wouldn't mind meeting her, too. Well, the king said she was popular, but I didn't realize she was a high school, a school idol. Maybe not idol. But she is pretty well known. She's not the kind of person who get along with everyone. Oh, definitely. I can see that. Pardon me, can you three be quiet that bet? Other people are trying to draw. Oh, my bad, Sensei. Sorry, Sensei. My apologies. <coughs> the three years get back to work. Day goes by. <coughs> School day over. Club time. Makes me see a bike goes away. She's like gone. And rushed out the room. The moon's ball rang. Oh well. I like little Mori. She's talking to her friends, but looks briefly in your ways. I have back. I grab my bag and head to the club. <coughs> I enter the club room and see Monica in the computer typing something. You're ever seeing one on her desk and not to grab her manga from what I placed it before. Where's her hair missing? I wonder where she is. Good afternoon, everyone. I turn around. Monica turns and grins. Sits and see me. See me. Hi again, Meiji. How does she to run away on us? <laughs> Damn, if smile is infectious. Wait, why is she using the line from the miserable game? Is she actually unaware? Oh god, I hope not. My word is bond after all. Oh, Monica. Yes? How's she doing? <coughs> She's still a bit shaken up. But I think her tea helped her calm down. Oh, good, I'm glad. Why don't we go check on her? Of course not. Go right ahead. I will hand over the usually costume. She looks pretty relaxed right now. Must be some damn good tea. Harry? She whoops, I may have startled a little bit. Oh, my bad, I mean to startle you. Oh, hello, Meiji. No, you didn't startle me. Oh, good. <laughs> Actually, I thank you for keeping your promise. I hope it's too warm to come in for you. Making you dive headfirst in the literature when you're not cousin. <laughs> Why f Wait, did you see something about my literature just yesterday? Is Skip taking a chill? My thoughts are took on my ass and rushing cops. Come on, like, he deserves any slack. So you're telling me you don't want to join clubs this year? And last year, too. I am such a clubless bitch! <laughs> yes, I get that reference! Alright, so seriously, you were just your smile from. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm dead in the <laughs> <laughs> True. When I woke up a few days ago and had what he called an epiphany. From behind me, I hear a small and small gas from Monica forcing near Sherry and Monica not seeing to hear it. No more Mr. Soldy. Like you've been so at all. Yeah, yeah. I realize I had much time left for graduation. <coughs> I want to spend more time enjoying myself and spending my horizons a bit more. Good. Well. Good, because you just plan to come here for hang out or whatever, and I'd have been pissed. You need to take it seriously, or you won't see it end of it. Keep that in mind. I just realized I'm not doing the Natsuki voice, right? Because <clears throat> my throat is all fucked up right now. Dummy. Oh, no, I got it right now. Okay, I'm good. I'm surprised that you, Natsuki. You said, I got a big mouth for someone who keeps their manga collection in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Why'd you keep me in the script? Whoa, 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 why are you dissing there? Are you are you dissing manga there, man of president? <laughs> well, what's your opinion, Meiji? I chuckle. I happen to believe all forms of literature have something to offer. Which books that are 100 years old or manga that's published last week? The answer seems to be please both Yuri and Natsuki. Natsuki seems especially pleased by answer. You're not half bad, newbie. Natsuki slightly returns to the her desk. <laughs> Monica returns to her to the teacher desk chuckling. The door and the signs open. Has anyone? Uh, anyway, so here are my rates for voice acting. I'm kidding. <laughs> there you are, Meiji. So you're at the room, panting pretty heavily that she's been renting. I was gonna show you the club room, miss, but I guess you forgot where we already were. I asked you at lunch and checked out club room for the minutes. Okay, so you get time out before I came in. I take a half minute to bring up speed. The discussion of manga with Verna. Don't worry, guys. Main always brings the best along having fun. He also needs to bring my busy work without me asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. Jeez, see, see, Siri and I can. I understand following the script a bit. <coughs> I can understand, but although it's a bit. That bit with was a bit concerning. But why Monica? How dependable. Siri, for one, you can get pretty messy. Huh? Did my sound start? Strange for me, of all people, to say, but a cluttered room is the sign of a cluttered mind. But living like that can only encourage a more cluttered lifestyle. So I clean it up to help you clutter your mind and mind. As for cooking, well, 
Need any remind you of the incident? <laughs> no. I was so scared when when she somehow set fire of all these water of all these. Of... <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna question. Well, because it's Yori. <laughs> think back, I yelled at her very much. I didn't think I had to. Honestly, Siri, I was scared something would happen to you, and I still am. So until you're better cooking your own, no cooking for you without adult supervision. And by the by the, oh, the way I reacted back then was a bit much. I'm sorry. Two really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. She's my bestest friend. I wrote I wrote her head prayerfully. But that doesn't mean I can't be friends with all of you. In fact, I consider it an honor that we all became friends. You mean it? I do mean it. And not just you, but Monica and Murasa, Muramoto-san as well. Who I know has been eavesdropping. Oh, please, not hard. It's, not, it's hard not to. Fair enough. My dad, Chino Marco, has been listening this whole time. So, Madam President. Yes. Is there anything you have planned today? Nothing aside from potent shining. Look at that later. <laughs> Great. The tension is killing me. I send the best close to Monica and the plot to plot two books. The next volume part. Hey girls and Portrait of Markov. <coughs> I started Portrait of Markov. The plot continues with the chapter I left off with. Fujiko makes her way to the home and asks she's a new sister about the third diamond. Masuri looks at the uncomfortable and Fujiko's towel. Masuri to forget it, but Masuri plays. The third eye is town myth about an experiment done on locals by the government during World War II. I'm thinking Podrick's MK Ultra, but I'm pretty sure that's the US and now it's the CIA with um drugs. I'm thinking of a Japanese one. Anyway. Something about World War II. I don't remember the day to experience some people. Anyway. The abandoned facility where human experiments of POWs have been located in the mountain near Yuna. The rumor went that the experiments meant to bring out some of the more psych psychic powers of research believe humans exist in the cult of third eye. What that meant varied from person to person in town. Some even claimed that after Japan Japan surrendered, researchers didn't shut down the facility and were still there, looking for what I believe for sacrifice. <laughs> With that information, Fujiko, even you know, more curious and more self conscious he, yes, my over or her of her developing body, decided to <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely eerie. Anyway, decided to visit the town's library and do some research. <laughs> the computer is that Sorry. I did the squeal wheel thing. The computer was down for repairs, but she was a really good researcher. <laughs> she found a stack of books to tell the local legends and began taking notes preparing. When chapter ends, Fujiko going out with her family for a welcome dinner, but it's very hard to put it down. Next, we pick up our fake girls. The plot gets more interesting as continue. With club meeting in the new cl cooking club starts the very day. Next thing, Minori is taking the role of club president by this volume. The first scene is her sitting in the club in a room trying to plan out club activities for cooking club. When the panel shows her, showed her room is covered in pieces of colorless paper. She was about to cry, but he struck her. She quickly wrote it down. She texted her club members and now they will be doing a taste competition. She had two suggestions. Either make the dish at the club, or make them at home bring noodles the following day. When well, everyone agreed to make them the club, she told them to bring any ingredients they made in case the cool didn't have pride in me. They showed up all the ingredients for their own cupcakes. <laughs> of course. What's so funny? Oh, the irony of this. I held up the manga. <coughs> their first challenge of... <laughs> Of cupcake making and they sh share with each other. Reminds you of our palm sharing. Speaking of which, it's time to, I think it's time to share palms. You do remember that right palm, right? Damn yeah, right I did. I love it. It's an older one. I want to get your opinions on my older one for a chance to name them. That's all right. I look forward to reading it. Monica comes calling out the club members, so I hold, but I hold up my hand. She's blushing. She's keeping those fuck me eyes. Hell yeah, she fuck. <laughs> I can't make that joke. I can't make that joke. I what the fuck happened to Miami? Sorry, I'm looking at the news. The news playing in my back in my background right now, and I'm seeing something happen in Miami. What the fuck happened? I should probably go on Twitter. Probably they'll tell me one of these days. I should open Twitter on my phone right now. I had YouTube on my phone because I was um, watching videos earlier. Anyway, <coughs> Monica and Cole, club members will hold my hand. Allow me. Sorry, Marker. Sorry, Marker player. Okay, everyone. Shut your traps. Ding dong, bing bong. Time to read your poems. Here, Monica does decree that's time. I love that one. Three people fucking died in Miami. Sorry, I got distracted. I'm watching the news. Dozens missing. Oh my fucking god. 
Oh, the Pacific Northwest is about to fucking die. <coughs> I point to the imaginary whistle on my watch. Michael burst out laughing. What the hell is that? Just so ready, y'all. Alright, well, now everyone's ready. Why don't you find someone to turn with? I need to tweet something out. Okay, anyway, I can't wait. I watch Siri and Monica choose enthusiastic plot poems. Just like in the game, not kiss. Siri is on the wrinkled street, loose the paper and turn spiral. Monica pulls a very familiar conversation in the notebook. I see Monica's right hand right for my sit. It's really quite good. Not and Yuri is reluctantly to apply as well, reaching her under her backs. I just realized this video is going to be like nearly uh, around an hour long. Anyway, I'm going to go pee again. I have returned from the restroom again. Not and Yuri reluctantly to apply as well. Reaching to the banks. Moment of truth. <coughs> Here we go. Wish me luck. You'll be fine, dude. <coughs> Thanks. I nervously approach Monica. Hey there, Monica. Ow. Hey, Macy. How good, having a good time so far? I am, for the most part. <coughs> most part, I have. It's nice to have a dedicated space to read without much interruption. For the most part. Yeah, the most still the thing that I'm certain about is I lean closer and she doesn't seem looking care to see me. I love my voice to your own she can hear. Whether or not I can trust you yet. Monica moves back, looking at me intensely. <laughs> your suspicions may be concerned. So it really is you then. Not me. And here I thought I was being obvious. I signed a poem over to her. But I'm not known for my salty. I'm the player. Also Meiji is just as much here as I am. Wait, he is? We'll discuss it later. Right if we have the club meeting is over. I am. Good. Come on, Macy's place later tonight and we can talk. Just be careful. I don't want to see you receding. Alright then. Take my phone and begin reading it. Oh my, is this an actual new poem? Damn. It's pretty poggers. <coughs> is it our poem actually? Do you remember how he, she has been with both of us and the them? As she didn't... I'm too lazy to read. You all can read if you want. I'll probably read it sometime later. I should... Just pause. I, you're wondering why. Just that I've already recorded long enough. And I kind of want to like, get the video through, done, and have this uploaded in time. <coughs> so yeah. This is long. Sorry about that. It's okay, more for me to enjoy. Good. I take a look at Monica's palm. I I wonder what this be. What the? Wait, wait a minute. Wait, I did. Wait, was there some changes I just didn't notice? Because it just said wait a minute. Or what? Did it say wait a minute? What the? No, yeah, it said what the. So I mean, this palm isn't the palm I remember. Pop, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. How could I be? Damn it! 
I'm going to the phone shot. I think I know how much she knows now. She's this is pre-act three, Monica. Jeez, this is gonna be easy. I read and reread your poem multiple times because the book class fans can come. <coughs> they can be. Monica rereading my poem, not seeing nothing the words. She needs to be savoring them. I'm finished. She puts them down the poem. That was a sad story. Try to rise. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm expecting this kind of poem from you. It's not an insult. I just mean I wasn't expecting a story-based poem. <coughs> I understand. I wanted a poem that appeals so small, so small way to everyone, including you. <laughs> yes, that's some that looks something I like. But can I keep it? <coughs> I believe someone so beautiful and cute caused so much pain. After I'm done with the others, <laughs> yes. <coughs> right, of course. What do you think of mine? I really enjoyed it. And don't go tell me about freeform because I've heard of you are. Wow, she never been. She was never this nervous about in game. <coughs> but in all honesty, I'm so sad when you know exactly what it means. I'm even closer, Monica. You know how much I want to trust you, but I'm still wary of you. Tonight, please tell me what I did. Now that you forgive us trust. <coughs> she grabs my arms and goes tightly. I smile sadly. You know, as well as I do, as I do that, a symbol I saw. As no, I you know as well, as well as I do that a symbol I'm sorry won't be enough. <coughs> I should speak louder than words. And hopefully tonight I can help dispel some of your fears and worries. All right. I never looked forward to something so much in my life. <coughs> I never got it. Now, can you let go of my arm? <laughs> you kind of make me lose concentrate circulation there. Yeah, sorry about that. No problem. See you later, Monica. Later, Meiji. Ducky, ducky. <laughs> I want to do the Mark Plar line again, but I'm. I think we're already past far now. Yeah, we passed it like some time ago. <coughs> Monica, press poems and heads off. Siri next. Siri next. I remember series, just finishing short poem Monsky. Hey Meiji, hey Siri. Are you my poem? Yep. I sign a poem over with her, takes a look at hers. Dear Sunshine. I think the same one. Is it the same poem from this game? Yeah. Why is it the same? She definitely wrote this poem in the morning, no wonder she was so rushed. Yeah. Here's Terry my poem. She doesn't, she puts it down. This poem is unlike, it's unlike you who, it's unlike you to write something so sad. Is that bad? No, not at all. I just wasn't expecting it. It's good. She knows on my poem. We'll write two poems tonight. You sure? I'm sure. I stretch the back of my neck. I'm glad you enjoy it. Yep. What do you think of mine? I grin. I gotta ask. Did you write this poem this morning? No. Just a bit. Good old Sayori. No wonder you're in a rush. Well, it's a good poem. But it's a bit sad too. Huh? I mean, especially the line out not waking up. You slept forever. If you slept forever, they will see you. Won't he be happier? Whoa, way too rare! <laughs> way too direct! No! <laughs> of course not! You may not realize it, one of the reasons I get up in the morning is because I know I'll get to see him, even if it's lately been from distance. Like you said, like I said, you're my best friend in the whole wide world. And if you've seen forever, the world will be a lot grayer. No one can replace him. Trust me. Just like you said in the poem. I trust you. Good. Keep it a good work. Your poem today was great. <laughs> Thanks, Maisie. A re for tomorrow. I'm writing the best poem ever. I look forward to it. That last night I saw you. I made sunny side up. <laughs> Exit toast. Pretty good. Yep. Good. Can I have my poem back now? I'm sorry. Zine's poem again. Uh, she gets hers back and I get mine. He's Meiji. Anytime. <coughs> I look at her to see Yuri a bit ways off, looking at me nervously. Her poem held up to cover her eyes. Her face. I approach her next. Hi, Meiji. Uh, hey, Yuri. I forgot to ask her earlier, but you're doing better. A bit, yes. Thank you for asking me. Like I said, you're a fellow club member. I wouldn't stand to have, and I wouldn't stand to have my fellow club members and my friends being harassed. So you raise your poems? Uh, it's embarrassing. Oh yes. I, she takes the poem and sits over and look, and look, reading it for me's sake. Fellas on their line. Oh yeah, this poem's thing. <coughs> you looks over my poem. This is amazing. It is. They say it out loud. They say it out loud. Yes, thank you. And your poem was amazing too. Although for my, for mine. I will admit I wrote this a little while ago for fun and just tying it up today. I, uh, um, he's gonna hate me. Yuri, I, I, uh, take your time. Your are taking breath and I'm gonna get the thoughts. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? You mind me asking? Not much, I'm afraid. I've been writing phones from the past, but it was just for fun. So I've written a lot more, I'm still playing Meiji. So it's gotta make it look unbelievable for Mr. Bland. This is the first time I've written something, I've ever shown something, any one of my poems, so it's a bit embarrassing. Look forward to feedback. Here, put the poem down. 
Well, first, first, first of all, sorry you even the combo is exceptional. Your use of unusual words to describe mundane things is pretty impressive. Like here, he points to the second stanza. Flooded and flowed. Those rights words are only associated with crowds, and it makes some doubt. That was my intention. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Also, it's fitting that the crowd is described as mindless when he's one of them. Someone is mourning. <coughs> we'll definitely feel my act feel act mindless. Although I must ask, why is seen soldiers in it? Well, that was probably because I wanted to include some fantasy in those. I didn't want there to be reason he fell off the tree. <coughs> Maybe he could have just lived. In that case, the conflict in his mind would have gotten brought out. Like finally considered, I didn't need anything by it. Uh, um, keep going, it's something. Uh, well, here takes another deep breath. I have enjoyed the word using the word slithering. It's a remarkable way to describe traffic. I think so too. You wrote this, you say you wrote this years ago. I found it last night and dug it out of today. I look forward to seeing what you else write. That <laughs> thing's well can tell me. Oh, well, it's a long poem. I'm sure Natsuki would like to give her thoughts too. We need my light poem. Sorry, my handwriting's a bit bad. I just take your time for reading it. Are you kidding me? The writing is phenomenal. I wanted, I wanted to enjoy the poem too. I see. As for your poem, I can see your use of symbolism is quite layered. <coughs> it seems to me that the person in the poem is describing a fear of change, using quite the impressive metaphors. The world around him is constantly hurling towards the future. One day, this, which they describe as sickening, green, blue green light isn't so saying normally it seems sickening, so the, the photography is perfect. And, Amber is a warm, comforting color, a contrast to modern lights you're referring to. You slow down, you're breaking her! I, I, I went on a tangent, didn't I? Uh, uh, you're fine, it's just... You're pretty perspective. Perspective. I'll take that as a compliment, coming from the smartest one in the room. I, look, I really look forward to reading your next poem. Me too. Trust me, this time I got a right one from scratch. I hope I haven't gone rusty. Talk to you soon. Tapping tap. tap my foot impatiently, I, I was afraid of my mic because I was scratching my ear. I walk over to her. Took you long enough. <clears throat> God damn it, I gotta do that voice again. Dummy, there you go. I gotta do the dummy line and I get it. I'll see the best for last. And you're my poem. Tell me what you think. Fine. <clears throat> dummy, fine. There you go. Only because Monica forced me, I don't. She sent you my poem out of my hand and nursing hands of hers. I read over poem. Ah, yes, the eagles can fly. Yes, the best poem on earth. I read it a few more times, slowly decoding the message. Now it takes time to read my poem. Seriously, you wrote a freaking novel here. It's an old poem of mine. I didn't have much time yesterday to write a fresh one, but I will tonight. Hmm. At least this story is easy to follow. Can you just read the poem? Her smile found slowly matches. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... She likes the poem? But it's long and cumbersome, isn't it? Now see reads my poem, slowly mouthing the words. N never mind. I feel like giving my opinion. Come on, I want your opinion. That's what we're sharing. You mm. well, I'd be more comfortable sharing my poem if your poem wasn't pretty bad. Were you supposed to show me dumb, some dumb poem and make me go, huh? Well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. Of course, I don't understand. You're not being clear with me. I'll be honest. I didn't. I've been. I tend to be pretty, te pretty oblivious at times. Don't know what I'm trying to change. I just want your honest opinion. Is that wrong? Mm. She looks away, but sigh. I sigh but smile. Well, anyway, your poem may be short, but it's pretty damn direct. I like how you use semi, a semi rhyme scheme to help emphasize your point, only for a lost line to fall flat, symbolizing how even though you try, you don't always succeed. The interruption of the rhyme scheme perfectly encapsulates that feeling. Jeez. You follow? F did you swallow a freaking thesaurus? Or are you trying to show off? You don't see my opinion. Well, unless you got it. The one in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated, but sophisticated and stuff. So the people don't try to take my writing seriously. Seriously, well, there's no absolutely nothing wrong with a simpler style. Sure, you have sophistication intellectuals that you have s <coughs> making intellectuals think. Hell, some people enjoy that. The poetry doesn't have to tell a story. They can just have it can have a message. This poem's message. Is one that's easy to comprehend, and it's too hard. Very hard. I mean, damn. <laughs> exactly. So you know when around you do great things can be really disheartening, so I decided to write about it. You feel that way? Monomoto-san, you're incredibly talented. 
I'm sure you know this, but there's no point in comparing yourself to others. And if someone's good at it, say piano, and you're not, that's fine. You're, you're probably better at baking than anyone in this entire school anyway. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. I learned a lot today. I had to phone back to Chan's me mine. Well, that's everyone. I, gra I watched Natsuki Giro Yuri. Monica's here, just finishing a poem. Seeing Jerry playing a poem away. I head over to them. Hey, you two. Oh, hello, Game Meiji. Hi. All done over here? Yeah, we just finished showing each other poems. Sweet. Hey, Hope. Yeah. I think, just, I think you could ask how these two met. How'd you tell me about Monica? I'm a bit concerned. Fair point. I'm mentioning that part of the game. I'm playing at Monica's series with friends when point. I'm wondering myself how they became best friends, too. Hey, I got a question for both of you. Yes? How did you two meet? Oh, oh, let me tell it, let me tell it, let me tell it. I <laughs> should think, Siri. We actually met a month ago. I was getting a book for class and saw Monica sitting at a desk. <coughs> I was in the class in the library after school about a month ago. Our key model sensei wanted a book for class for class the day after, but she had no time to get it, so I volunteered. Hmm. Hmm. Where's that book? Sensei was here. Said it was somewhere. I looked around and saw Monica doing the move, seeing the librarian's desk. I wish her to do that thing. Will they come? You'll see. Go ahead, Siri. Right. I thought she, she might know since she was at the desk. Um, excuse me? Yes? Can you help me? I'm looking for a book. A oh, what book? Records of Academic Matters. I, Akimoto sensei forgot to grab it for class, so she asked someone to get it for the next class. I see. I'll go for, let's go find it. I think it's over here. Monica found it in record time since she's so smart. <laughs> Not as smart as you think, Siri. I just know how our library books. You are smart, though. No argument for me. Oh, thanks. Monica found it for me pretty fast. Yeah, here it is. Thanks a lot. Of course. Are you okay? Sorry? You seem sad when I came in. Is everything alright? I did. Well, it's nothing too important. I was thinking about starting a new literature club and I was looking for books. That's why I volunteered for library duty today. A literature club? That sounds fun. I do you think so? That sounds like a fun experience. I am... Fujioka Sayori from Class 3B, by the way. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Fujioka-san. I'm Asano Maka from Class 3D. Oh, you're Asano-san? And that's me. Don't believe the rumors. Oh, don't worry, I don't listen to rumors. Rumors are dumb. Agreed. Actually, I think I've heard about you, too. You have? <coughs> yeah, I could use a vice president who's good at people like uh, you are. Do you want to join me? Me? Really? Why, though? No? I heard how you defused the solution between those two girls in the hall the other day. Uh, that was nothing. No, it really wasn't. I don't think I really stopped them. And I used to be part in the debate club. Used to. I quit. The politics in the club was tearing the club apart. I want to make something I enjoy and the others can too. I see. I'd love to be your vice president. And you can call me Siri. That's what my friend call that's what my friend calls me. Well that crazy you can call me Monica. Now then, let's see. Let's go in that club. Yeah, let's go. And we left to find out how to register our club. <coughs> oh my god, this video's gonna be like an hour and a half long. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. How'd you get Nazi? Maybe you just jealous. Maybe you just jealous that Meiji appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Oh shit, the fight! I forgot. Oh fuck! I I I, for I was so interested in how they met that I forgot about the fight completely. Like, oh no, not again. Look at the two girls who are now sit at our face each other. Doesn't sound good. I'm gonna try to stop that. Be careful. I will. I stand and walk over to the two girls. Both good. <coughs> 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 Both standing and glaring at each other. Before I can get a word in, Nazuki yells Yuri. And how do you know you appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? No, it's not true. That's not true at all. What the hell? I'm not in the game. <coughs> well, it was, but Yuri wasn't upset. She was supposed to be nervous. Defensive. If I was, I would do over. I would oh, to really go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy like you. Oh my gosh, she looks pissed. Oh my god, we're fucked. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. What the hell's going on here? Well, you know what? I wonder about whose boobs magic crew size bigger as soon as the newbie started showing up, booba. <laughs> my boobs have nothing to do with this. Suddenly both girls turned to me. What's going on here? Meiji, she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. And if she can go over herself and learn that simple writing is more effective. Uh. <clears throat> and this one happened in the first place. What's the point of making your films all con convoluted for no reason? That means you jump out of the reader, not forcing her to figure it out. <coughs> Help me explain that her newbie. Wait, there's no reason. There's a reason we have so many deep and accessible words in our language. 
It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning them most effectively. Avoiding them and not necessarily limiting yourself will also waste. You understand, right, Meishi? I bring my fist up and slam it as a starting line one. Enough! I look at them both. What the fuck is wrong with you two? I know it says hell, but I'm using fuck because it's more. What's it called? Exclamative? She started it. That's not the point. You should be acting like. You should, you should have been more mature one instead of acting like a child. Monica? Yes? Monica looks shocked and it was seriously against John's drop. You were in the debate club last year. Ever heard of, heard of an ad hominem attack? It's a base strategy where a person is attacked in the V instead of the idea. The moment you two attack each other personally, your argument becomes petty and childish. Honestly, you're both high schoolers. You should be better than this. He looks away, almost like she's about to cry. Nazis look in the opposite direction. He's very unreliable, wind roll direction. Damn, I feel bad now. I beat them a bit. Hey, guys. I'm sorry for blowing up. That was my intention. But please understand. Both styles are equally as valid. Besides, I like both your poems. Munamoto san, yours may have been simpler, but I really felt the message of help help helplessness fit behind it. It was really impactful. And Yuri, yours was so layered that it can be interpreted in many different ways from the, for many different readers. A very effective strategy. Tell you what, why don't you tr both try and think of at least one thing you liked about the poems? <laughs> Yuri, you tell me one thing you liked about Munamoto san's poem. The way the rhyme, the rhyme drops. At the end, it's really impactful. Monomoto san. One thing you liked about Yuri's poem. Sadness it felt. When I read about the amber light, it was effective. There. That wasn't too bad, was it? Too hard. I guess you are poor opposite from poetry and writing in general. But because your different styles because your styles are different doesn't mean you can go attacking each other personal personally. Personally. Friends respect each other's differences. Be honest. Didn't you at least learn one thing from each other today? Constructive, I mean. A few seconds pass. <coughs> then Yuri slowly nods your head. Natsuki sighs as the maps roll. Good. I take a deep breath and look down. And speak of honestly, and remember the truth. I look my face in. I record our eyes and Marco slowly shaking her head, pleading. I've been honest to everyone here. It's gonna sound the same, but I'm not Meiji. The science powerful. Natsuki and Yuri's face go. Michael Morgan for this. Well, because Siri's tilting your head. Um, Alright, that's your thumbnail, probably. Wait, did I take the screenshot? Yeah, I, okay, now I did. Well, I did. But Monica stands out. She's looking on the side slightly. My heart is beating faster than Janet Cabin. Meiji, is there just one of your shitty boyo games again? No, Siri. I'm serious here. I turn to Monica Yuri. Yuri, what do you know about this uh, dissociative identity disorder? Wait, you're another personality. That's a good. That's as good as an expl explanation as any. What is it, Yuri? It's more commonly known as multiple personality disorder. It's when someone undergoes a traumatic event in their life. Their thoughts get so disjointed that they literally dissociate themselves with traumatic and, from the traumatic and stressful situation. Sometimes they can manifest in the appearance of a new personality. The closest thing to, to an example I can come up with what's happening with me and Meiji right now. When I went to the doctor, I'm sure they, they didn't said call this. I'm sure they didn't, they didn't said be calling this a Meiji disorder. Ah, uh, there's my last name again. I don't give a fuck anyway. The name of the person currently in charge of Meiji's body right now is Nim. It's actually a personality called Hope Flores, aka me. Where's Meiji now then? He's still here. I can hear him whenever he speaks to me. We have decent conversations for the past few days. I look serious in my face blasted, but almost serious. I can take it. So you listen, that's Sunday. That was me using control, not me. Before you say anything, he's helping me the entire way. He told me about the cafe he went to. He told me about the way, about the park. He helped me when we were racing those games in the arcade. Yeah, I understand you hate me more now, but I couldn't keep lying anymore. Hold on, you're serious? So all the time we're not talking maybe for some alternate personality? Yeah! That's pretty much the conversation. I got memories of past life before ending up here. Meiji, please tell me you're lying. It's a joke, right? God, it hurts to see you like this, but I can't back down. Just thought I was kidding, please. I can't see you like this. You know, Meiji's struggling to take control harder than before. Me neither, but I can't. I need to come out. Like Siri again. I'm sorry, Siri. But it's the truth. But don't worry, Meiji's still here. 
If you're saying it's true, why didn't you say anything? I said and looked down at the desk. I was scared. I felt so out of place. When I woke up in a strange house, I was sure I'd been kidnapped. But after Meiji's consciousness woke up, we soon figured out what was going on. Why did you take me out that Sunday then? Uh, yes, I um, I got a glimpse of Meiji's memories and saw how he regretted distancing himself from you. So I decided to help him. It was the least I could do. We both want to try and let Meiji take control again, but we haven't had the time. Please, I know this sounds bizarre, but it's more than bizarre, it's insane. You have to believe that you're not serious childhood friend that you've been boasting about for weeks just like that. And Tyler, you're making Siri cry. It is a joke I had to, I had been able to forgive you, but making Siri cry inaccessible. Ow, that hurt. You're a monster. I'm surprised Natsuki's pissed. I hold my hand in cheek. I know. But you don't want me in the club anymore? I'll be more willing to leave the club. Hell. I'll even ask to be transferred to school. Transferred? Yes, transferred. I grab I head over to grab Mage's back. Wait, can I talk to you in private? Mark, can you believe that bastard? Hold you back. I take my hand and she moves out of the hallway. <sighs> oh no. She pulls me in the next empty classroom. She grips me with the vice, grabs some lapels of my blazer and throws me against the wall pin me there. What the hell are you doing? Are you insane? I had to tell them. I take a deep breath. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to shout. It just... <sighs> it would be one thing if Meiji me, me wasn't here anymore. But he's literally thrashing around right now. Trying to take back control and tell the others it was a joke. I can't lie to them like that. I have those tears. Some falls. I can't bear seeing him... Seeing her like that either. I can't bear seeing anyone like this girl like that. Especially her. Monica, I... Were you planning on telling them about me? Or tell them about us? Mo Monica... I hug Monica closer. She seems thinks to me that she won't like she, like she won't get another chance. Right now there is no us. Not a romantic us anyway. I told you we'd discuss that later, didn't I? You tell me you're planning this. Because I knew you tried to stop me and I couldn't have that. They need to know about me. It was just partially. Monica gets my chest softly. Damn it. You're reckless. It's one of my bad habits. Saying that to all of them was the hardest thing I had done. And that includes setting up to Tani and the bo people boring Siri earlier. <sighs> She's pleased me as I for a while. Hope I'm scared. <sighs> I am too. So is Meiji. Of course I am, dumbass! <laughs> you just called me a dumbass. He's not wrong. True. From the bottom of my heart, I'm really... Monica, from the bottom of my heart, I really am sorry. The actions do speak louder than words. Clever. These are my own words against me. You're right? Trying to be less impulsive. You better. <laughs> Dude, I thought I was terrible with girls. You got in everyone in the club to hate you in seconds. <laughs> I left Monica's chin facing. That doesn't sound like the that sound like the confident club member club president remember from the game. Put it out. You and I both know my confidence is a facade. I'm sure you're coded for me. How do I feel about me? I doubt you I doubt you do, Monica. Despite how I've come across, I do care deeply about you. You and the other girls, but you especially. Why don't you trust me? I'll look at the window and say this time. All I know about you, all I know about you, I learned only from the game. And it's not pretty. I really do want to put my trust in you. But there are things you, I, you need to know first. Tonight, I'll answer as many questions as I can. Thank you. We have to get back and calm my own down. Noski is still pretty, pretty pissed, I'm sure. Series broken, I don't know about Yuri. Yeah, you should. Thank you. I get back in club, club room. I approach you to raise voices. I do believe in Natsuki. I don't see any reason why he would make up a story like that. He made Tsuyori cry. Next time I see him, I'm going to punch him in the train of the moon. Oh, she sounds pissed. Natsuki. Well, this is how you're in there scene like earlier. You keep an eye on that. Not that time that. Why would Meiji like to this? He didn't sound like the kind of guy who would go out of his way to hurt Tsuyori like that. At least from Tsuyori told us. <laughs> not like that. It's not that I don't get what you're saying, but... My counters. If you're that concerned, why don't you ask why aren't you covering Sayori? I walk in from behind and close the door. Sayori's eyes are full of tears. Oh my god. My eyes are starting to water. I can't help but look. Maybe she knows all this, but I saw my... See, Yuri and Natsuki are standing turned to face each other. Yuri's face is red with rage, and Yuri... Natsuki's face is red with rage, and Yuri's looking back with a serious expression. Monica looks consoled. Look at me in silence, full of the moon. Yuri's the first to speak. Not uh, Torasan, was it? Yep. 
that's the first time I ever heard my name referred in the Japanese, like, somewhat Japanese want way. So, yeah, that's gonna be weird for me here. I not so like, you can call me help if you want. Uh, well, is there anything you need? You're helping this jackass? Advice. I need advice. I need to sit down. Here you sit next to me. How the hell do I let Meiji take control back? Even for a brief time. Let's see. There are a few methods I've used to treat this. This is toad. I use. There's a few methods used to treat disassociative, disassociative personality disorder. Hypnotherapy, talk therapy, psychotherapy, and so on. But your situation doesn't sound quite the same. No. It's like my soul has been torn from my body and jammed into this one. And I want to know what we can switch. Why not just let Mage to control permanently? After that, it's his body. Because I'm, I don't want to die. I'm scared of death. I hug myself a bit. I feel a little pair of thunder hands on my shoulder. Meiji, no hope. I'm so sorry. I, I shouldn't have lied to you. Shadow surrounds around me. That's alright, Hope. Hey, Meiji, if you can hear me. You're Meiji's friend now, right? His friends are my friends. I know you were scared. That doesn't make what I did right, though. I don't hate you, though. I can never hate Meiji or his friends. She hugs me closely and I smile sadly. So you chooses a moment to interrupt. Oh, please, now he's acting all sad and stuff. You're all insane. Natsuki. Oh, she looks from the puss again. I can't believe how childish you're acting about this. Especially after Hope chewed you out. <laughs> Natsuki looks away and begins to cry. It's not that. I just don't like it when people make Siri crying. I destroyed something precious here, haven't I? Dude, just tell me you're lying. It's too late. Even if we did, why would any of them would forgive us? <laughs> Meiji makes an effort to control. Please. I sign stand. Hope. It's what I wanted. And it's certainly not what Meiji wanted. Right now, he's trying desperately to take control and tell you all I was joking. I look at all of them. New determination flows through me. Meiji senses and soft. I'm not going to give up. I did see earlier it would be easier to just leave. But it's a coward way. That's a coward's way out. I'm going to work hard and make this... Make the deception up to all of you. And don't listen against Meiji. None of this is his fault. I bow low. Actually, speak loud in the words. I'm gonna kill up to all, you all. Stand up, you idiot. This is some period movie. I smile up and stand. I know. Now, please forgive me when I say I didn't want to make Siri cry. Meiji cares about her. Now I do too. Fine. Nazi starts off. Monica looks at me proudly. I care when I have an announcement. We got a new member. Fucking hell! <laughs> Can I go join the debate club instead? <laughs> Please welcome him. Thank you. I hope you treat him well as you did when you thought he was Meiji. Poggers. <coughs> I will still never get used to seeing my name in the game. My last name. I don't really care about it because it's literally on... You guys look at my wicked Tubia page, you know those YouTube wiki pages? I literally have my last name on there, so it doesn't fucking matter to me. <coughs> anyway. Anyway. It's nice to officially meet you, Hope. Same to you, Yuri. Thank you for being so perceptive to me. Even after I lied. I'll be working out let Meiji through so you can speak to me them too. He's a pretty cool guy. In reason as in literature as I am. Unless, unless you're like Muramoto-san and think Manga's literature. In case he's a lurch god. Uh, yeah. Hey! Hey, Manga's literature! I know! Don't worry, I know a bit. Don't worry, you're, you're, I know a bit more about Lurch than he does. I look for your opinion of what Project Markov when you finish. Good, because I want to hear yours. <laughs> Alright, everyone. I think it's about time for a sleep. Aside from that unusual tool, how do you... <coughs> Unusual turn, how did everyone enjoy point fairing? It was pretty fun. I see it was worth it. Yes, yeah, meh. Probably putting it lightly. I, put, I enjoyed f getting feedback. And I should say, if we're doing this again, I'll bring two poems. One for me and one for Meiji. How'd that work? He'll tell me what he wants to write, and I'll write it. And I will know you're write what he says. You could easily write something that saves Meiji. So you believe him now? Mm. Shut up. <coughs> I get where you're coming from, but if anyone knows how Meiji thinks it's Yuri, she'll to see if I'm lying first. Trust, I'll trust it. Fine, I'll trust Yuri then. So Yuri, I know I'm not Meiji. So you want to walk home with someone else wearing a Meiji suit? With someone, you don't want to walk home with someone wearing a Meiji suit? I get, not at all. I didn't say friend. I said a fr any friend of Meiji's friend of mine. All right, of course. Well, if no one attempts, <coughs> well, see anything tomorrow. I really look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Marco looks at me. I hope you and Meiji do all right. We'll do our best. 
I help us go. Foggers! So you rushed out, whistling. There you go. Yep. We head down the street again. Hope can I ask you something? Sure, ask away. You're his friend, right? Me, friend? I don't really think we are. Fine, since we're stuck with each other, I can just call you my friend. You've done a lot for me after all. But I'm done so little in... Meiji, seriously, this pers persecution complex of yours is getting a little annoying. I keep telling you it's okay, but you've done a lot for me. If it weren't for you, I'd be so lost. What did Meiji say? Oh, please don't tell her. He's asking me not to say. Oh, I see. Damn it, just let me tell her. He's embarrassing, plus I don't want her to worry. The friend shop to help when they're down. Hi, <coughs> Meiji's feeling super down right now. He feels useless. What? Meiji, listen to me. You're not useless. You've been helping Hopewa while running with your, running your life, right? So don't call yourself useless. You really think so, Siri? You really think? Do you think so? Meiji wants to know. Yes, I do. Meiji, you're an incredible person. Now that you're not, Hope. Siri, calm down. I know you're closer to Meiji. We just met after all. I guess you're right. <laughs> Science couple comes again. Oh, but I want to ask. <coughs> do Yuri and Muramoto-san act like that? Completely, complete, completely arguing with that. I mean, Meiji and I are both curious about that. No, no, no. That's really the first time we've seen him fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. Almost oh, the first time I've seen Yuri so angry. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? Either of you? No, not at all. We don't hate them. We're just concerned. I take a deep breath. Seriously, are you okay with this? I mean, I hijacked the body of your best friend, and I don't know how to give it back, even temporarily. that will be fine. Besides, treat me so kindly the past couple days, and stood up for Meiji and me. Not to mention Yuri. You're a good person. Stop being so impulsive. It's a bad habit I have. I'll do my best. <laughs> good. You keep walking while I remember. The question I was not asking before I interrupted it. <coughs> I think we get to get our mind off of what happened earlier today. Hey, Siri. Yes? How did you and Monica get to know it? Get the others to join? Oh. We actually got an asking you know, the day after Monica and I met. <coughs> Story time. It's a two-hour video. Fuck you all. Monica and I met during lunch the day we first met. We're reading over his hand. We're reading over his handbook. <coughs> okay, so this it says in order to make a official club, we need at least four club members and a place to meet. Where we meet up, though? I asked about that after you left yesterday. More club room would be in the middle in the middle school classroom 3D. An entire classroom? I know. I was surprised too. But it's where the last search club met before disbanding two years ago. I'm still surprised we didn't. We don't need an advising teacher. Although, in my middle school, all the clubs had teachers writing the club. You know why? I'll ask later. Later. In the meantime, we need club members. Can you think of anyone? I can think of anyone first, but I saw Yuri come in. She was carrying a book. What about her? Yeah, I see her reading during most lunches. Want to go ask her with me? Yep. Sir, excuse me, are you safe taken? Huh? No, not at all. The poor Yuri. She probably not that, was she? Not really. Can I ask you something? Um, Yoshi... Yoshika Yuri, Class 3E. Ah, Yoshika-san. I'm Asano Monica from Class 3D and is Fujioka Sierra. <coughs> Sierra from Class 3A. Repeat. Hi. Hello there. I can help but notice, but you do need your reading. Oh, yes, very much of my free time. We spend in pursuit of literature. Oh, cool. Would you like to join a literature club? Literature club? I went to school. I wasn't aware school had one. We don't. Well, not right now, anyway. Sir and I are trying to form one, and both of members. <coughs> You're really interested in joining? I don't know. I've never been to the club before. Would I be useful there? Well, I prefer that the club have a more relaxed atmosphere. Well, I like having activities for a club would be appropriate. We don't have to do them often. It'd be a fun and relaxing club. Wouldn't it be nice to have a place where you can read in peace? I suppose that would be a pleasant experience. No pressure, right, Monica? None whatsoever. I won't force you to join. I trigger you to be interested in one except the other offer. You take time if you want. If you do decide to join, go ahead and find me your series. I may actually this may not be even be uploaded on the twenty fifth because I do have videos that my friend um Fran you guys know Murky Rules, the guy who literally in the on the um, in my channel you'll find him, he's the editor of the some of my videos. He edits some of my videos that were nearly a year old now. And he, because he's slow, he's a slow bitch. Anyway, so those might come out instead. This might come out Monday. So if you do decide to join, go ahead and find me a series. Give me a fun club. I hope you join. Thank you for your kind consideration. And thank you for listening. Sorry to interrupt you. That's fine. I'm quite intrigued by your offer. See you later, hopefully. Dude, goodbye. 
What about Natsuki? Alright, I suppose you'd be a bit comfortable. Uh, for my and her anyway. Monica and I kinda ganged up on her a bit. You know what I mean? I believe you. How'd you get Natsuki joined? Oh, we convinced her more easily than Yuri. <coughs> we actually found her after school next day. Really? Are you sure about Siri? Sure about what? Well, the, instead of this Mur Muramoto san, which doesn't sound like Shin Lurch, like Yoshikana san was. Yoshikana. But well, that's what the argument was about, though. Argument? The one from the other day? Yeah, she's arguing about some Mur Oh, there she is. We saw Natsuki sitting in one of the benches reading a manga. Um, excuse me? Hmm? Oh, it's you. You remember me? You did help me. Now, who's this? I'm Asano Monica. Asano Monica. Asano Monica. Class 3D. Fuji. Fujioka Sayori, class 3D. I'm Muramoto Natsuki 3C. Uh, can I help you with anything? Maybe you can. The two of us are opening our literature club. Would you like to join? A literature club? Why me? I read big books like those bookworms in the library do. I remember saying something was literature. <laughs> yes, manga. Manga is literature. I know someone would agree with you about that. So are you interested? <laughs> I don't know. What are you going to do in the club? Long, read long and boring novels? Not all the time. We only have some activities. We'll try to make it enjoyable for all members. Mm. Can I keep my manga in the club room? <coughs> I'm sure we can figure something out. Well, not in any clubs. And I can certainly use a place to... Never mind. I suppose I can give you a new club a try. Any other members? We had someone earlier, but they said anything about it. Okay. Excuse me. Yoshika-san? Are oh, you desired already? Yes, I have. I went home yesterday and thought about it. And I think joining the club would be beneficial for me. Really? Yay! Who's this? This is the person I mentioned to you. Yoshika Yuri. Really? I'd like to meet you, uh... Muramoto Snatsuki. Uh, Muramoto... Of course Muramoto-san. Since we're gonna... Be going to the club, we should... Let's call each other by our first names. Uh, are you sure? Of course, what do you think, Monica? Well, if you're all comfortable down, see why not? I don't mind. Well, everyone's okay with it. Let's go get our club registered. Also not scary. Let's do that tomorrow. A lot of the teachers already gone home. Already gone, already gone, I'm sure. Yeah, sorry, I got a bit excited. Are you okay? Meaning out he had to school tomorrow so we can get the registered club? It's perfectly fine with me. Sure, why not? I'll tell my ham I'll tell my dad I'll be home a bit later tomorrow. I'll be free at the school. Ready, let's be here tomorrow. I'll see you then. After that, we met the next club and started the club. It was pretty cool, actually. No kidding. It turns out she made, she's in Siri's neighborhood. Wait, let me check something. If he's not uploaded, I'm gonna be so pissed off. It's probably gonna. If it's not uploaded, if he didn't put it in fucking Google Drive, I'm gonna have to, like. This is gonna be like a. Video's gonna be uploaded, like, late. Late, late. Not late, 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 but. It's not gonna be on time. And that's gonna. That's gonna annoy me. Then I gotta yell a Fran about this bullshit. Uh, I gotta run to see Risha, Meiji and Siri's neighborhood. Um. Looks like we're almost home. Uh, yeah. Meiji, is there something wrong? It's just Meiji. Oh, sorry how I acted over here. <coughs> I need to bring the mood down. I should be the one apologizing. I don't want to bring it down. Although I said Meiji wasn't quite on board with me telling you all. He didn't want you to worry him. And neither do I. You know, I've only known you for a few days. I do care for you. And I want a club too. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. I have to do plums right. Alright, can I teach you? Good night, Siri. That was without doubt the weirdest thing I've ever had. You're telling me. Could have gone a lot better. And it could have gone a lot worse. What the? I'll turn the front step, turn around, there's a pair of female shoes there. Fucking Monica. <laughs> I turn, I walk in the living room and see Monica casually sitting on the couch. There's an eyebrow. Do you really not have any other clothes? Or you just rush or teleport over here after we left? Nice to see you again, too. And to answer, I had to make sure both. I don't have a home. Real, wait, for real, you're homeless. What the hell? No way. It's not something I mentioned in the game, I guess. <laughs> Recently homeless after my parents kicked me out for leaving the debate club. Oh. She shows off. This is obviously an uncomfortable topic for her. And I can see why. That sucks. And she's probably not aware of anything else and she's been kicked out. I look her up and down a bit. Meiji, is your sister about Monica's size? <laughs> I think so. Monica, stand up for me a bit. Huh? Like this? Yep. I walk around Lane Meiji to get a better look. Uh, hope you do. Just a second, Meiji thoughts. Yeah, she and I are pretty similar. Are you two checking me out? Not for that reason. Not, not the only reason, Horn Dog. Quiet you. 
may just tell me his all just the same size as you. Come on, let's see if we can find some clothes for you to wear besides those. I lead Monica to Aiko's room. We go to the closet where a few clothes are hanging. Choose whatever clothes you want. If she says Aiko's clothes, dress her, Mar May she speaks up. I tell you, you didn't trust her. I don't. Then why this? Because I don't trust her. Just because I don't trust her doesn't mean I'm gonna get just kick her out. I mean, I guess. She just needs to be cleaned up. And she's been told. She hasn't done anything I told you. But she's capable of it. Is that the main reason? Yes. That makes sense. I'm sure you really love a shower after being in those clothes for who knows how long, right? <laughs> yeah, I could. Of course, leave your uniform in the basket in the bathroom and I'll, I'll try to get them washed. I go upstairs and then in the hallway, I grab one of the spare towels in the classroom. In the bathroom. Wait a minute, I need to check something quickly. I gotta open something quickly. Do I have a screenshot yet? Yes, yes I do, technically. I have a couple. I'm gonna use the all club one where they all find out. I I walk in the I walk downstairs down the hallway, grab one of the spray towels and put the on the bathroom's outer door. I look I walk down the city thinking. I'm telling you what I should do now. I'm still worried about Monica, but after what I learned I feel bad asking her to leave. Hope? Huh? You okay? Yeah, just thinking that's all. It's about Monica? I not so leave. You're not seriously about thinking kicking her out, are you? Hope. Marcus, Meiji's tone is not sin. Don't tell me you were actually thinking about it. I shake my head visibly. Remember, you actually told me you're not going to neglect Monica. Don't be so hard on her now. Yeah, I know. Meiji, what do you think would happen if I asked your par we asked your parents to let Monica stay here for at least tonight? <coughs> I don't know. I think they might. I think they might be. Well, they might be worried about something. Anything happening between us? I actually know by now, but I'm not sure you really want. Really, I haven't noticed. Oh, shut up. Kidding, kidding. Oh, let's call them. Call oh, Meiji's phone to call his mom. One and a half rings later, she picks up. Hey, mom. Meiji, you know we call us an emergency. Is everything alright? Are you sick again? You need to come home. No, mom. No, mom. I'm alright. I have something to ask you. A big favor. What is it? Well, um. It's like this. I just found out that, um. A member of my club needs a place to stay in. I said she could stay for a while. I guess she got kicked out of her house or something. I was hoping that she could stay with us a bit until. She gets her situation figured out. I know it's a huge favor, and I feel like a terrible person. I would just turn her down. <coughs> Sign something on her head. Oh, it's a big favor. Um, my uh, let me call. Let me call you back. And discuss it with your father. Where is this club mate now? I'm gonna use a shower and get her some of Ico's clothes. Will she fit them? They're about the same size, yeah. I'll at least allow that. But as a first thing, it's a big decision. I understand? If that doesn't work, maybe serious family could we'll let her stay for a while. Sarah's mom would jump on that. Well, let, you know, let you know, okay? I'm sure, mom. Take your time. Love you, sweetie. Love you, too. Bye. <coughs> <coughs> I sit on the couch. I start going to Monica up in herself. I'm sure your parents won't let, her, won't let Monica see here. Sarah's would definitely let her see. Oh, she would. Speaking of family, you think Sarah's family knows about her depression? I have no idea, but she does. <coughs> she loves that Monica watch over Sarah. Amazing. Monica's the one who, um... Not intentionally, mind you. She's still the one who pushed the early suicide. I'm not sure how I feel about that. But that hasn't happened yet, has it? Besides, you're here now, right? You can make Monica happy. How am I going to do that when I'm stuck in your body? Siri might say she understands, but deep down her heart will break every time she's me and Monica together. <coughs> I'm still wearing your body. Emotions and logic don't mix. Especially with the girl with depression. Yeah. <laughs> get in the hallway and knock on the door. Is the inner door locked? Can I come in? Yeah, I can come in. How's everything going in there? Perfect, thanks so much, both of you. I've been trying to clean... I'm trying to clean using restrooms at the school, so you can imagine how relieving this is. I'm glad to hear. Listen, I just called Meiji's parents and asked if you stay here with us. They haven't gone to give a direct answer, but if they do see us, would you be opposed to borrowing Meiji's sister's room? Are, are you sure? Even though you don't trust me completely? Just because I don't trust you, yet doesn't mean I'm going to abandon someone on, to a life on the street. I hope. Thank you for your unbelievable kindness. Don't mention it. Let's just start the laundry and make us something to eat. Thank you. No problem. We just help. I put Mark's clothes. school clothes in the washing machine. Maybe what kind of veggies do you have? 
veggies. Margaret's a vegetarian. Oh, well. I'm not Wow. Why don't I actually? She went to a singing class last year about how many interesting things cause the pollution or something. And that's the reason, yes. <coughs> I'm taking the ingredients for granted. Raining. About five minutes later, I hear the shower door opening. Monica's out uh, hugging herself. She looks pretty comfy in some casual clothes. I don't miss her care that long. I guess she's seen her point all the time, it's so hard to just wait. Well, it's interesting to see something other than your school uniform. And we're here now. I don't think so. <laughs> Monica looks home making. How did you know I was a vegetarian? It came up at the game. It did? Huh. Interesting. Hey, can I make can I make dinner? Is that okay? Yeah, sure, what? Yeah, sure. Work yourself out. Thank you. And her cheese grater. And her manager Monica gives him some green cheese. <coughs> Meanwhile, I'll take out Maldor, Maldolain slice for me. She told me about it and began sliced potatoes. It remains like this for a while. Me smile. Monica's smile remains for a little while, but she starts humming. Humming a little familiar to him. Her smile starts to vanish. It stops her soon, stops the counter. Monica, what's up? Monica? Crap, what the hell? Hope I. I Monica? Monica turns towards me, hugging me. Suddenly, has a fall flower back. <laughs> Sobbing loudly in my chest, my shirt gets stained fast. She hits the floor a few times before letting go limp. I lie there, not exactly with the situation. What if she was humming enough to close her, cause her to break down? What the hell do I do here? Ten minutes pass. And she's back up, sitting on the floor, she's staring at me. It's. It's been so hard. I've been so alone. <laughs> it's been overwhelming to be the only per real person in this world of fakes. But not anymore. Not that you're here. It's gonna just be the two of us. Oh no. No, 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 not again. I sense up when her chin Oh no. The smiley she was in act three. Guess that answer that she had her time considering everything still, everything else, everyone else real still. Monica, the earth's just real it's just me. How do you realize that? They're just NPCs. It's not like they have souls. Just try to go on, but stops. Look at they just pass over her face. Oh. Is that why you don't trust me yet? That's a big part of it. <laughs> if you keep thinking those blank slates, you'll make a mistake. A fatal one. I played this game before, and you saw it happen. You're so des desperate for a route you try to play her in a space classroom. Just to find a happiness the game script denied you. Space classroom? I'm familiar with that. Fitting name too. I created that. Why don't you get away from everything, everything and think? That explains why you showed in the clubroom earlier. Monica, I need you to promise me not to mess with the game. Not in that way. <laughs> what do you mean? No filling with the character files. I need you to find a way to separate me from Meiji instead. Please. But if I do that, what will happen? I don't expect it to be easy. But if anyone could do it, it's you. Uh, are you sure we can do anything like that? We could delete Meiji. Monica, don't you? How could you even think of such a thing? Just a puppet on a string. Oh, that hurts. To me, it's not. Listen, you and I are going to sit down, but I and I'm going to tell you what happened in the game I played. But first, let's finish this granite. Great. More preparation goes along in silence. It's, it's awkward for a while. Continue to cook, I try to think of something to break silence. An idea comes to mind, but I don't know how to write them to ask it now. But I have to know. <coughs> I know it's a bit personal to ask, but when were you kicked out of the house and why? I was kicked out on Sunday evening. My father found out I took the debate club before my own club. He's been pushing me the best and perfect his nice. At least that's the best story I have. Jesus. Sir has depression. Nazi has a strict father. Rhea has health farm. And you have pr protectionists of his parents. Oh, you have some problems, I see. Is your mother the same? Yes. They're both straight you students expect me to be the same. God damn it, how much more cliche can you get? I can punch some pretty greasy leader. I can see that for you. Constantly projecting an air of confidence. Has to be a self defense mechanism to develop because of your parents. Which begs the question how did this world get to expand in the first place? You four aren't the only chops I mean, I've seen since coming here. That's the. There's the typical. Gar. Gia. Gyaru trope? A well liked class rep. Cra class rep. Girl from Rich Family Trope. Group of boys led by a rich knob who drags boys around by their dicks. I'm pretty sure there's more. Speaking of Tiny Sun, I heard something happen between you and her last son, Monday. I explained Marcus size. You really are reckless. I had to be. My real appearance isn't exact. My real appearance isn't exactly imposing. I noticed my phone. 
The kitchen didn't open it up. I sure appreciate my mom's doing for my high school graduation. Wow. Oh, you're handsome. Not, not that you're, not that you're not Meiji. I just have some, I guess that's from most and eyes from when it comes to the player. Who took the picture? My mom. You miss your parents? She sounds scared. Well, yeah, they're my parents. <laughs> Maybe you could, but you just want to go back. Huh. Just kind of pointless to ask about that. I doubt I'll be going back any time. But would you? Monica grabs my arm, holding them desperately. Are you afraid of me going back home and leaving you? She nods her tears in her eyes. Sigh. Monica, when I first came here, I made myself a promise. A promise I almost forgot. I promise I will not neglect any of the girls here. And that includes you. I mean, yes, I do miss my family and would like to see them again, but I made a promise. You never stop looking at me like that. Try to see something my mouth suddenly moves before I can chance it. Tell you what. If you can find a way for me to be separate from Meiji, why? Won't see why I can't take you on a nice date and get to know you better. She really listen to me. Wait, what did I just say? Ah, oh, fuck. My daughter's gonna get out now. I'm sorry, I, I just. I don't want to lose you. Because I'm real? She stiffens up it and doesn't answer. Come on, let's finish the Gratin. Raiden. I don't fuck this is. We're gonna cut the rules Mark seals glance from me every so often. Mark's green is an oven. Monica, I look at the living room with lazy brown TV stations. Pretty, pretty elaborate for a game. No more international documentaries covering the scene in America, but I skip over that. <coughs> I search a place for me and Monica leaves some side for me his parents. Let me finish, Monica speaks up. Uh, can you tell me what happened in the game when you played the game? I don't even keep crying, but I want to know what made you distrust me. I almost reply when you stop. Uh, hold on a second, I need to check something. Enter your major room, put on my top to channel. What are you doing? I have a copy of the game on my laptop. I hope it works online. We go to I search the history and find a folder. I did a first run to find type to start a game. Many familiar ones. What the hell's with that hair? Dating sim, of course, you're gonna have odd color hair. Alright, I guess that's true of all dating sims. I close the game and head downstairs. I mentioned Monica. I mentioned Monica to connect my laptop TV. She comes in and watches me curiously. What are you doing? I want you to play the game. Poggers! Monica stares in the university. Uh, how is this possible? <laughs> hey, this isn't no one we're stuck in. It's just a copy down from the Steam Marketplace. The game was made specifically to be a psychological horror game disguised as Ding Sim. Pretty run through and pr pretty run through and pr each run ends pretty much the same way. I'll let you play it. Please let me play this game. I can't always help you reject it. I know it's going cruel, but I need to understand. You want to know what the game does? This is the perfect way for me to explain it. Now shall we begin? <laughs> All of us when we first played the game. I'm surprised. You know, I would have been more expected. Oh, you saw that I gently opened the door scene. Then she was like, wait, never mind. Fuck this shit. I see now I am done with life. Wait, I'm guessing... Oh yeah, she just played the one round. She didn't do the... Oh, but then she... Holy shit, that's the scariest thing I've ever seen. Meiji has been ever since the end of Act 1. Oh yeah, then series death. I believe completely. I am so sorry. You had to see that. It's okay. I give him a Meiji's thoughts in his couch. I give him a moment to get his thoughts. I really have no words for this. It's really hard to... See clearly when all I see is I understand? No, I don't think you understand. You're right. I'm sorry. That was the wrong thing to say. How can I let this happen? How can I let my go this one go for this? I let that line of the kind of demonstrations of it. This isn't your to chill out again. So I need this. I can't forget myself. No, can't do it. Maybe just didn't leave all you know. The person is something people can cause. <laughs> Remember what Siri said in the game. She had depression her whole life. You didn't know her whole life. Maybe not, but I definitely didn't help. I've been, the I've been there for her otherwise. <clears throat> I take a deep breath, try to calm her surely. People, Maisie, people like Siri, hasty people worry about them. They think they're selfish about thinking about themselves. Think about it. You want, you want to help the woman you love, right? You want to think, but what can I do? I'm completely useless here. Just be there for her. I don't you care. <clears throat> I know it's going to be hard. What's going on right now? Yeah, true. But I make sure you'll know when you, when you see her. Please. No, no, yeah, I appreciate it. It's the least I can do. What do you do about Monica? What do you mean, do about Monica? Well, what if she runs off? I don't think she's run off. 
Let's go see. I have to look outside. I see soft something on the desk. Walking over, crash over the pretty king. Wait a minute. Never mind, that's your thumbnail. <coughs> I always do, whenever you see something like this, when these, um, custom, customs, this custom stuff, I always think that thumbnail no matter what. I see Monarch sitting on the ground, rock back and forth slightly. She brings practically. Crap! She's traumatized! Quickly approach her and stand her next to no choice. She didn't acknowledge I'm there. Poor girl is trembling hard. You know? It's hard seeing her like this. It is. What's she gonna say? I don't know. She's in a fragile state of mind. What I would do could either help or break her. I see. I look at the neighborhood. Maybe next to her, you see a mock shoulder to wreck her ass. After a while, she begins to start down, so he calms himself down. Such thing right now is probably a terrible idea. I mean, I should say anything too loudly annoying. The camera's still helpless. I want my voice as quickly as possible. Monica? Ah! She also bit jumping and turns towards me. The body is tense. She stands up slowly. I, I, I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want to hurt you. Monica? I, 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 I don't want to die. I don't want to be deleted. I'm sorry. I, I'm so sorry. Uh, no. No. What the fuck? I'm sorry, Sayori. Yuri, Noski, please forgive me. What? Please don't delete me. Please, 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 God, no. I didn't want this to happen. No, 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 no. Monica's words become incoherent, breathing tense twice, suddenly only increasing. Sayori, hope, do something. Help her, goddammit. I can grab Monica's shoulder and give her a small shake. I never should have stayed there. I broke Monica. And what I wanted! I guess I'm gonna try to reassure her. You're not her. You will never be her. I I, I reach over and pull Monica closer, her hand on her shoulder. I look in her eyes and look at a hope of sincerity. Monica, that game is not your reality. It will it will never happen like that. I promise. Finally, she begins to cry. Her tears stream over her eyes to start her teeth. She stands there holding her shoulders and begins to sob a bit more. Soon she begins slowing down, more swiftly than her stuff now. She wipes her way, her tears away with her sleeve. Monica? Monica pulls away. Totally, a little bit on chair. Are you sure you can keep that promise? You should have in that game. How can you make that promise to me? What if it doesn't work? I tightly grip on her shoulders. Look at me! You're not her. You're not the Monica in the game. And you'll never be her. She closes her eyes, takes a deep, full labored breath, to try to calm down. I see her mouthing a few words, almost in repeat. Like some man, some much that make helping her keep calm down. Hope. I made a decision. Oh, I decided. You. I believe you. The people in this world are real. I'm missing a lot of part of her remit, aren't you? And I promise I'll work on on a way to safely separate you and Meiji. I'll help the other girls too. Thank you. It means a lot to me. And Meiji, I'd like to apologize to you too for my earlier remark about the reading. It was rude and horrific. Horrible. I'm not upset at you, but I forgive you no less. He forgives you. Thank you. I'm glad. Meiji's room then rings. Hello? Meiji, it's mom. That's odd. She didn't normally call me this night. Hi, mom. Is something wrong? You normally call me this night. Everything's well, fine. Well, mom, it's about your new friend. What about her? Listen, your friend, your father and I discuss what you ask. I didn't come to an agreement with to your fellow club member. Parents? Was that her? Yeah, yeah, one second. I turned on the speaker option. She can hear you guys now. Mom, Dad is the president of the school's literature club. Asana and Monica. Monica, my parents. It's a pleasure to meet you both. Your son graciously offered me a, a place to stay. I sound like a polite young lady, Asana san. I hope you understand our apprehension. My husband and I work long hours and can't be home, so having your son alone with a girl. For record, I trust you, Meiji. But you know how your mom is. What is what is it with the younger generation saying? Don't be don't be bringing home no babies. Hey! Monica's trying her best not to laugh. Meiji's mother sighs. Sana san, you can stay in our daughter's room for the time being. Thank you, man. This means a lot to me. You're welcome, but we still discuss this in person. My husband and I can't wait to leave work early today. We'll be back early tomorrow so we can talk. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, Suji. Love you, Meiji. Bye. Love you too, Mom. See you. I hang up. Well, that went as well as I could have expected. Thank you. And thank you too, Meiji. So what now? Well, I'm gonna go clean up so we can relax for the night. I start hand inside and decide to make... 
but then try when I said to make Michael have to try to cheer up. <laughs> Maisie, does your family have Netflix? No, we have Netflix. Why? Why? Go to Netflix and chill with this. Dude, dude, dude just, I'm still here. My face gets hot. Who says you didn't always get to tea? Please, just let me clean up first. <laughs> I'm helping you. Don't say no. Fine by me. You stand up and you head back inside. <coughs> we both head back in the kitchen. I put my... I put the two plates I saved from each pan side and put them in the refrigerator. Monk wastes the counters now. I finish back inside and turn on TV and browsing. She can do it, she can walk in, she closes her until she neck against me. I flinch, causing Monica to jump back. I'm sorry. I guess you don't trust me yet. <laughs> I understand why you did it, but yes. Please respect my boundaries for now. <sighs> Alright, I overdid it. I'm sorry, Hope. I genuinely feel guilty at seeing Monica's expression change. I'm not only really the best that I'm really the best reading emotion, but it looks like she's genuinely regretful. You need to get up, but I reach over to grab her wrist. Hope? You need to get up. You said whatever you want. Well, thank you. I sit back down to respect her distance away from I got a remote and select the show. Hardly, inter <coughs> Hardly anything interrupts the rest of the night. I do get a bit of uh, up for a bit and hang Monica's clothes to dry. At the end, at all the time, though, I'm partially where Monica's watching me, not moving from where she is. Perhaps she to me trying to approach me on my terms, though. I might not trust her still. Doesn't mean I can't empathize with her situation. A few episodes of the clock. Damn, where'd the time go? It's getting late. Maisie and I had from have still have poems right. Well, same here. <laughs> he turns forward to me. Hope, oh, Maisie, I promise that you'll do my best to figure out how to safely separate you and Maisie. Thank you, Monica. <coughs> and we both appreciate it. Reluctantly, Monica stands up and stretches. I like that face. Cute. We both head upstairs. Good night, Monica. Good night, Hope, Maisie. We head to go to Hope's. Well, Hope's. We go to Major's room, sit on his desk. I grab a, a pen and some loose paper. All right, let's get your journal first, so that way you can sleep. Sounds good. Thanks. Anything you want to write about? I have one. Yeah. Let's begin some drafts. I put a stretch and I'm putting my hand on the page. Lay it on me. For the next four hours, Mitch. <laughs> four hours? Oh, oh no, half hours. Shit. <coughs> I can't read. For the next half hour, Major directs his first drive. I keep my mouth shut and make changes where he wants. Tomorrow he has a poem where he wants to share. What do you think? You'll hear my opinion tomorrow. Seems unfair to discuss it now. But <coughs> All right. Well, good night. I'm making me fall asleep. I begin writing my poem. I don't think I have a poem like like. I wonder what girls will really think. I put a book away. In the packing, I noticed two packs of unopened gel pens sitting at the bottom of my backpack along with my poem for the day. What I'm saying, let me think of Monica and how I basically broke her earlier. I'm starting to feel guilty. Maybe. I didn't get up to her so well. <coughs> <coughs> I ate the backpack again and head out. Poems and packet pen in hand. I instantly, hung, I instantly take knock on Monica's door. Monica, are you still awake? Come in. <coughs> I, uh, I open the door and see Monica sitting at the desk. Hey, what's up? She puts the pen down. Before I went to bed, I want to uh, do something. First, my phone for today. You guys are for me immediately. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, I was waiting all day for it. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> I was keen to do something else. I think I thought you might like. No? When we first came here, my background saw made it here and I have a few things in there. One of them I thought you might like to have. Something for my reality. I have one pack of pens I have. Okay, I like them. She will take them out relatively. These are from reality? Yep. I hold the second pack. I another set just like that one. And I'm interested in that even as small as this. Something. Sorry if it sounds so silly. Now you have no idea how happy this makes me. Something from reality is in my hands. Some like to cherish this forever. Well, I hope you use them. <coughs> I hope you use them too. At any rate, sleep well. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Hope. Good night, Meiji. He's already asleep. Really? How's that even work? No idea! Well then, good night, Hope. I love you so much. Ah, uh, thanks. Good time. Good night, Monica. You too. And I leave, I hear a paw. I pause and hear something at the door. I really hear Monica crying. It's like happy tears. At least I think they are anyway. I feel better now. I head back to Mason's room. Finally, sleep. And finally, two hours later, this video ends. Well, two hours for me. It's, I've been recording since 10 16 p.m. It is now 12 15 a.m. This video is supposed to come out in 12 hours. If it's not. Oh. Anyway, sorry about that. If it's not, then. Please do not crucify me. I am 
you know, I just got the COVID-19 shot yesterday, two days ago from this just being ended. And my arm, I'm still feeling the side effects. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.